This preview includes portions from Roadworthy, a parent's guide to teaching teens to drive. Hi, my name is Mike Peel. I've been investigating car crashes, head-on collisions, T-bones for the last 25 years and seeing the devastation that this causes families. Did you know that one out of two of our teenagers crash within their first six months of driving? That statistic has got to stop. That has not changed in the last 50 years, one half of a percent either way. Inexperience is the number one reason kids are crashing today. Vocabulary is very important. We need to set ground rules on how you're gonna talk and this is what works for me as an instructor. I'll tell you a story about a, a, a teenage boy and his mom who went to this church parking lot and did not have the straightaway. And what happened was is he panicked, he put the car in drive and floored the gas pedal. Parents, this next step is one of the most important things you need to teach your son or daughter. It's a simple habit that can literally save their life. You know, parents, getting on and off a freeway is the hardest thing that we teach teenagers. It just, they don't want to do it, you don't want to do it because it's nerve wracking. What happens here is, is the car will slide on the rocks or whatever, but as soon as that tire at that position grabs that blacktop, it's going to flip this car right over. Taking this is probably going to hurt you really bad, if not kill you. If you can steer the car a little bit to the right, take the hit on the side where it becomes a glancing blow, uh, you might still get injured, but your chances of surviving are a lot better. Remember parents, the goal is not just to make sure your kid passes his or her driver's test on exam day. Our goal is to make sure your kid is a well-trained, safe and defensive driving machine. I don't want you to forget those numbers. I want you to remember how bad those numbers are so that you understand the importance of following this program. I want your kid to beat the odds. 